um, a lot of failures, of course. I mean, like a normal story. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Yeah, I told you, a lot of challenges. Uh, I think that was the most important lesson I've ever had. So I'm very, very happy and excited for <laughs> this part of the stories of the good stories, actually, to be here with Flavia Andrei. And Flavia comes from Romania and she has an amazing project. And this project is called Coco Chart. And I really want to talk to you about how you, what has actually happened before in order for you to reach to where you are today. And how will you, how are you thinking of like, maybe being the next steps in order to make your project actually come alive. Mm -hmm. Very happy to be here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first podcast? No, it's not my first. It's my first with you. <laughs> ah, nice, okay. <laughs> And many more to go, hopefully. Dios de la, <laughs> Dios de la Hacienda. <laughs> Yeah, very happy that we have met here, actually. Yes. And we are doing this together. Yeah. Uh, now about Coco Charts. So, what was the first question? First what, of all, um, I want you to, like, tell how me. How I got here. Yes, of. like, what's your story? So, um, I think I'm going to start with one of my f uh, most important values, which is freedom. Oh. Yeah. So, that's exactly why I chose this. Uh, freelancer activity and then entrepreneurship. Um, Can I say also like say that you also specialize in social media yeah. and you have a very, uh, for me at least, it's like a very beautiful aesthetic when it comes to social media. Thank you. Uh, yeah, actually my job, but I'm working as a freelancer, is a social media consultant. So basically I'm working with uh, small entrepreneurs or freelancers or people who want to learn how to promote themselves on Instagram, especially. Um, but the business we were talking about, Coco Chart, is my project that I start. I started working at it, I think, two years ago. Okay. Uh, but the website was done this year. I have, um, I had a lot of challenges, let's say. <laughs> um, a lot of failures, of course. I mean, like a normal story, you know, it's yeah. not that kind of success um, overnight. Yes, so exactly. You just, I, th I also believe that you do yeah. not move to overnight yeah. success. Like, you know, like it's not something yeah. that really happens. And that's why we're doing this podcast in yeah. order to be able to inspire more people to say that, you know what, you know, it takes like a few steps and like, let's try and break it down for them in order to relate. So you started like two years ago. Uh, with this project. Yes. Yeah. I also had um, other businesses in the past, but that's another story. Uh, but my mo the most important value that I have, as I told you, is freedom. So mm -hmm. that's why I wanted to make my own schedule, to not have a boss, to not have <laughs> a, a job from nine to five and stuff like this. Another passion that I have are uh, travels and coconuts. <laughs> I also have a tattoo with a coconut. Um, so yeah, I um, this project actually, it's a platform, an online platform, where I have a time management online course and a travel journal made of coconut paper, of course, <laughs> and cotton paper. So it's a tree-free product. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I, the first sample I created was made of a normal paper, but it just didn't feel right to me. Yes. So then um, I started working on this idea and trying to find people to work with outside Europe in order to find that the paper that I wanted. It was a long process. For example, um, after having the design and everything ready to print, From the first moment I sent the producer the, sam the design to the moment I got the sample, so only the sample, it took me six months. <laughs> What? 
Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I told you a lot of challenges. Uh, I think that was the most important lesson I've ever had of how to be patient and how to accept the fact that we are all different, that we work like the work rhythm or workflow is very dr- different from a person to another, from a country to another, but to a continent to another. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. uh, Let me take you a step back. So basically you managed to have like a 3D project, basically. It's like a project like with three dimensions. So it has like, it is an online product, obviously. And it is also like, there is also the consultant department, the consultancy department where you specialize in, in social media. Mm -hmm. And there is the physical product as well, which is something that I love because it means that, you know, most people out there like on Instagram or social media in general, they just go and create like, um, a time management schedule that nobody can actually put on their fridge or, you know, write down, you know, stuff that they want to do or even journeys or even travels, experiences, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like, you don't really end up using it, you know? And I want to, I want you to go exactly as you're moving in this flow, like backwards from the physical product to also like make me the connection with, you know, the, rest of what you do basically yeah so basically a couple of years ago i had this job i was working with a company from germany in marketing um technically it was a full-time job but (laughs) i was working remotely (laughs) (laughs) okay okay um and back then i was i i already started working at the design for the travel journal Mm -hmm. and i was also having two clients on social media management as a part-time exactly as an extra income let's say yes and uh, all my friends was were asking me how do you have time for everything oh yeah so that that was basically the question that I got a lot from a lot of people. And I was working with a coach and she was like, why don't you create a time management course? Because everyone is asking you this, like you are having a superpower, but I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just found some things that work for me. And so that's how I created this online course, which is in, a, in an online um, video version and it comes with PDF worksheets. But I think the... Um, thing that makes a difference is that I created a little bit of a holistic or I gave it a little bit of a holistic touch because I really don't believe that um, if you implement in your life tips and tricks, management tips and tricks, but without working on your mindset first, yes, they will work on a long short, on a short term. Yes. But I do believe that you first have to work on your mindset. So uh, in this course, I help people or I guide them through the information I gave them, examples and <clears throat> worksheets that um, or how to discover their values, their uh, bad habits and to replace them with good habits, their time consumers, um, even if they are people, people, yes. they can be time consumers yes. or energy consumers. No, but even you know? like in companies, you know, it's like it, it like it consists of people. Yeah. So that's very, very important what you were saying. Yeah, yeah. So basically we're going through all this process and much more than I have told you. And uh, in the last part of the course, we are working on daily practices that to, time management, daily practices that you can implement in your in your daily life in order in order to live a more organized and joyful life i like to say okay, <laughs> so this like, is this is key yeah exactly exactly so i do believe that uh, both the time management course and the travel journal help you stay organized and so help you live a more organized and happy life do, do you know what springs to mind when i hear you talk about these things i time sustainability it's time sustainable basically that means that basically what you're doing is that you allow us to consume as little time as possible creating the biggest impact possible Mm -hmm. this is exactly what also my company engages and embraces very very Mm -hmm. much so 
And to move also to the physical content, the physical product that you have created. So yeah, actually the idea with the travel journal came to me when I was coming back from a trip. I was coming back to Romania from a trip. I think from Austria or something like this. Anyway, and I was thinking that I've been traveling so much and there are so many things that I forgot. <laughs> For example, if you're asking me now to recommend you a restaurant in, I don't know what country, Italy or whatever. Yes. Blank. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> You know, only if I have given a review to that restaurant, for example, I can look and see if I find it. Um, but otherwise, I do forget a lot of things. So I just came up with this idea. And of course, I did a lot of research to see what other similar products are on the market. And I found a lot of products that guide you very well through the process, like they ask you in the notebook, for example, what are the restaurants, what is the what are the places, blah, 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 like too many guidelines and they don't provide you space in order to be creative or reflect on the trip that you have just had or whatever. Or on the other hand, there were journals that were giving you too much free space, <laughs> like enjoy and write there, whatever you like. Yes. So I just couldn't find a product that uh, was uh, perfectly um, aligned with my needs. And I just wanted a product that could give me both flexibility to put my own toes there, but also a little bit of guides, like what are the places you have, um, what are your favorite places from a specific destination or restaurants? And in the journal, I also um, uh, give people space to put Polaroid photos I like that. Uh, and also information and also their own thoughts on if they want to reflect on their journey. For example, for travel bloggers or travel influencers or travel content creators or just digital nomads or freelancers who travel a lot and they work while they are traveling and they want to keep their memories in an organized yet creative space yes uh, this is a product that uh, i think is it's very nice and it's precious again <laughs> i'm going to use the same word but it's like it's beautiful it's precious and it's like absolutely necessary yeah and another thing um because I, I was thinking about it okay i'm not cutting trees in order to create this journey yes. But what can I do more about it? And then I started, I spoke with an NGO from Romania. They are planting trees. I've been collaborating with them as a volunteer at some point, one of their actions, uh, planting trees. And then I spoke with them. And for each two journals that I'm selling, I will give money to this NGO to plant a tree. That's amazing. So yeah, this is a project that I... Of course, I want to make it to work as a business as well. But as it well. encompasses, it encompasses but, values yeah. and principles. Yeah, you know? it's made like the giving back. Of, exactly, exactly. And made out of love. 